has another video for you all related to the development of nervous system. Now, nervous system, as we talked about in the previous video about the anterior posterior neuropores and the neural tube. Now, this neural tube, when formed, it develops certain bulgings which further are responsible for the formation of forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. So these bulgings have been named as prosencephalon, mesencephalon, and rhomboencephalon. Prosencephalon is responsible for the formation of forebrain, mesencephalon is midbrain, and then rhomboencephalon divides into metencephalon and myelencephalon. Or you can say metencephalon and myelencephalon. So here this is prosencephalon, and from the prosencephalon, uh, cerebral hemispheres are formed. These cerebral hemispheres develop from two vesicles which develop in the prosencephalon. These are known as telencephalic vesicles. So here you can see this is the telencephalic vesicle which is formed in the prosencephalon and the curvatures are also formed or you can say the flexures. So this one is the mesencephalic flexure and the part at the caudal end is the cervical flexure. At the back of mesencephalon, there is always tectum present in the form of a cavity. And another model to show you these developmental changes, here you can see this is the telencephalic vesicle and this is the developing eye or you can say to optic black wood in the prosencephalon, mesencephalon, rhomboencephalon and the rhomboencephalon has got a cavity at the back that is the cavity of the fourth ventricle. This one is again the mesencephalic flexure and the cervical flexure. Similar model to the previous one is Again, the telencephalic vesicle with the developing eye, mesencephalic flexure, this is the mesencephalon, rhomboencephalon having the cavity of the fourth ventricle and the nerves have also started forming. So this, uh, you can, in some uh, models it is the developing eye, in some models it is the optic nerve. Then you have the ninth, uh, this is pons and this one is remaining medulla. So this is pontomedullary junction. Now the distribution of nerves in these flexures or you can say in these uh, prosencephalon, mesencephalon and rhomboencephalon are first and second cranial nerves are present in the prosencephalon. Then mesencephalon or the midbrain has got third and fourth cranial nerve, fifth cranial nerve is at the pons, then sixth, seventh, eighth are present at the pontomedullary junction, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth are in the medulla. Now sixth, seventh, eighth nerves they are present horizontally, whereas the ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth nerves are present in a vertical fashion. So the next model you can appreciate this is the developing brain with the telencephalic flexure, uh, telencephalic vesicles that is responsible for the formation of cerebral hemispheres. Here you can see this is the optic nerve, right? The mesencephalic flexure and the cervical flexure, right? This is the cavity of the fourth ventricle at the rhomboencephalon. Here you can appreciate this is the fifth cranial nerve at the level of pons. Now these two are the vertical nerves you can see. So these are the ninth and 10th cranial nerves. 6th, 7th, 8th cranial nerves are not visible in this because they are present horizontally. So maybe in the next models you can appreciate the 6th, 7th, 8th nerves along with the 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th nerves. That's all about the first part you can say of the models related to the development of nervous system. Thank you.